Hi, I'm Dr. Christina O'Malley, and this is Better Science Teaching. Today, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up your science fair project notebook. What my students use is this student lab notebook. There's lots of places you can get it from. At our school, we sell it in our bookstore. Um, you can also get it on Amazon, some other places, I'm sure. Um, but there's a few reasons that I like this one is it gives us some duplicate copies. So when students turn in copies of their lab notebook, they don't have to photocopy it and they don't have to give me their original work. What they're going to do is tear out a carbon copy page from their notebook. So the way that that looks is that, um, giving away all the punchlines, is that each of these pages has an original page and then a copy page. And that's a good practice to have in science anyway, because it gives you a duplicate copy of your handwritten notes. With our computers, we can upload things to the cloud or whatever and have a duplicate copy of things that way. But when we're handwriting things, it's nice to be able to have a duplicate. And this way, students can give me their copies of their notes and I can spend a little bit of time looking at them and give them good feedback um, without actually having to keep their original copies or be writing on something that they're going to put in front of judges at science fair. So some things to know about this book. Uh, it does have a water resistant sort of plasticky laminated cover and that's really nice. It's also got, because of all that carbon copying, it's got this flat page. I know a lot of students don't know what to do with this, but what you're going to want to do is fold this behind any page that you're working on so that it doesn't, what you're writing doesn't go through to the next page. So that's a handy thing to have. It's also got a periodic table, which may or may not be useful to you, but um, this is a book that's designed for use in a chemistry class. And so that's why that information is there along with some, some interesting lab information. So, all right, so here's how you're gonna set up your notebook. The front cover needs to have uh, your name and the year on it. In a different video, I'll show you how to make a second cover for this so that if you want it to match your project or you don't like this cover, um, that's actually something that can be switched out. So your cover needs to have your name and the year. You may already have that information if you're using a notebook from a prior year, and that's fine. Just add the new year underneath it. <clears throat> Inside, you're going to have a table of contents page. Um, this is a great page. You can just leave it as it is. You can fill in whatever you think is relevant. Um, I would actually hold back from putting a phone number on it. You can put an email in there. You can put a parent email in there if you'd rather for a little bit more privacy, because if this is something, again, that you're going to leave out at a science fair project in the spring, you may not want to have that contact information here. You're also welcome to put my contact information if you're my student. Um, <clears throat> down here, instead of writing things like network ID or course, you know, you can write your school name in there as well. The way that you use the table of contents page is you're going to fill in the date, what you did on that date, and then what page numbers it's relevant to in your notebook. It's a page on laboratory safety. All right, next we're going to have four pages that we set aside for the research diary. The research diary's purpose is so that you can keep track of the activities that you're doing, how much time it's taking you, and what it's costing you. So this is something that's meant to be a record um, that's a little bit summarized, but also tells you a little bit about where you're spending your time and your money. Um, the way that you'll do this is you'll make uh, columns across the top. This this is one that I borrowed from our bookstore, so that's why I'm not writing in it, but I made these little post-it notes. So you could write research diary up at the top and then make some columns, date, activity, time, cost, and page. Date, time, cost, and page don't need to be very wide columns. You're going to spend the most space in your activity column, and so you want to make sure that it's wide so that, you, so that it doesn't have to be tall. Leave four pages for your research diary. So pages one, two, three, and four will all be research diary. So you could even go ahead and make that an entry here. Don't worry about date, but write research diary, page numbers one through four. Then page five is where you're gonna start putting actual information for your science fair project. It's where you're gonna put your ideas, your sketches, all your brainstorming. Um, it's where you're gonna put data, citations, notes for your annotated bibliography, all those things that you're gonna need to get started with recording information. Keep in mind that, you're, that this notebook isn't meant to be something that's a polished final project. So I hope that that helped you understand how to set up your science fair notebook so that you can use it. Um, be safe. Be well. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.